Hey guys, in today's video, I'm doing an evaporator coil, so it was a good time to test out the M18 vacuum pump, see how it does. It was a three and a half ton system and I had to pull a vacuum on the whole system. I timed it, I ran it in high the entire time, and um, I'm gonna show you how it did. So if you're thinking about buying this vacuum pump, you're gonna wanna see this. Okay, we're working on a three and a half ton heat pump here, and we'll be pulling a vacuum on the whole system. Pulled my blower out because this right here is gonna be difficult. I'm gonna try to pull it up and pull it out. We'll see. And aluminum coal is what we have. I may be able to hook that up in a way where I can use my press fittings. Let's get it put in the air handle. tempted just to take this out and tape over the holes. There we go. I want a 90 degree angle. One more. One more. Looks pretty close. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to clean all this up. It's already got the Teflon seal and the piston in there. Now, how do I have pressure on that one? All right, this one, as you see, there's no real good place to um, cut it. So I'm gonna unbraze that.
I'm going to run nitrogen through this while I'm doing it. Both of my sprayers are out. Acting like I'm running low on something. I'm just now getting some pressure on it. This is taking me a little longer than I thought it would. But it's Sunday, so I guess it don't really matter. All right, now for what we all want to know and what I want to know is can this pull down a three and a half ton system how long does it take I do have a 12 amp hour battery which I intend to use in the future but this comes with an 8 amp hour so that's what I'm going to start with and uh, we're ready to pull it right down. let's turn this on Open this up. I'm gonna open that up a little bit. Looks like that's on manifold mode. Like that, it kind of runs at half speed. Turn that off and y'all see it speeds up a good bit. Nothing yet. It's only been running about 30 seconds. So let's see how long this takes. Alright, we're at three and a half minutes. And I'm at 5,000 microns. 4,500, doing good. I'm at nine minutes. 1,564 microns. My battery has three bars. I'm down to 583. Oh, it just went up to 600. I'm at 15 minutes and I got two bars on my battery. Oh, look at 
look at this. I'm down to 385. Still two bars on the battery. 23 minutes. <clears throat> That's pretty good. All right, I'm down to 357. What happened right there? Um, let's check our timer. 32 minutes. And I'm down to one bar on my battery. 354. I'm going to valve it off right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And, uh, See how long that 8 amp, bar 8 amp hour battery is going to last on high like that. It's already 33 minutes, which is pretty good enough. That one's slowly rising. Got that valved off. I'm fixing to start weighing in the charge. Right, it's still running. 37 minutes on high speed. All right, I got a hundred, a little over a hundred PSI standing in it now. So I'm gonna put in my, my straighters. This thing said it would give me an alarm when the battery gets low. And it's an hour and a half on that low speed or manifold speed. So right now we're getting close to 45 minutes on speed still one bar all right i've got a flashing red light still hasn't given me a i'm at 45 minutes that's pretty good that battery will handle most residential applications It just gave me my alarm and it's slowing down. It goes beep, 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 twice. And it's going to shut off. I read in the paperwork it does have a check valve in it. So it's slowing way down. But not turning off. I'm going to go ahead and fill it right there because um, I don't want to drain that battery all the way to zero. Forty-seven minutes. That ain't bad at all. Like I said, that's with the eight amp hour battery that came on it. Over here, this is MO99 or 438A. I had no main plate nothing I could read right there so I'm just charging it up with um, uh, subcool superheat mostly judging by the superheat right here it's over 80 degrees in there I'm glad to have to have some air conditioning all right so my conclusion on this is that's going to be my new vacuum pump I like it I like how small it is I like that I don't have to pull a cord the eight the 8 amp hour battery went for 47 minutes on high which makes me think I can probably get over an hour with a 12 amp hour battery I'm impressed it did very well y'all tell me what you think below and if you like these kinds of videos how about like and subscribe it does help out I'll catch you on the next one